quiet and subtle. We just want atmosphere. That's all we want. A little bit of atmosphere. Some background noise. So that way it's not just me talking to you and it's really quiet. If and I were to stop talking, it wouldn't have that weird awkward silence, you know? I guess it's only awkward to me though, so I don't know. Fuck, what do I know, you know? I know lots of things. Ask me anything. Where's my other brush? It's behind my ear. Okay, okay. So we're back. We're back at it. We got a lot of this done. Some of it was done off stream. I believe we'll be able to finish painting tonight if we are hasty. And I don't have my nose in, in the chat room all night. And I don't, you know, goof off. These things, of course, are not going to happen. So we're probably going to end up taking a little longer than anticipated. So let's go. Let's get, let's get right on to it. Yeah, here we go. We'll start off up here, you know. Just a little bit. Not too much. It's a little rule I have. A little bit at a time. With watercolor, most people say you start with the light colors, which is true, you do. But for me, it's you add a little bit at a time, just a little bit, just a little, a little tiny bit. All right, we need to figure it out right there, you know. Let's see, we got like a, let's see, that's green, I guess this is kind of green, yellow. Huh. Which means this thing. This is the base of a pillar right here. I'm not sure if you can tell. I mean, it's pretty well hidden. You wouldn't be able to figure that out unless you knew. You know, unless you knew the insider secrets. Insider trader secrets, you know. I think what we'll do, we'll make it gold. We'll make a little golden color. Yeah. Let's get that all around. I think we can appreciate the gold. I think it'll look nice. Let's get weird. Space prison. You got a skeletal shirt. What? Oh, did you, uh... Did you get a, uh... What was it? The Zamba Humans joint? Ooh, wow, I get it. I got a little little raspy voice going on. You hear that? It's kinda I like it. It's nice. Let me get a little moisture in my throat though. Let me get a little moist, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what was that? Uh designed by humans or did you get like a Tony Papish official Tony Papish shirt? Which technically is a skeletal shirt. I mean, it is, you know, I designed it. <laughs> yeah, nice and raspy baby, and like a raspberry. With a rasp in it. You know those, those candy your parents warn you about on Halloween? I'm that candy. <laughs> designed by humans? Oh, nice. Which one did you get? I'm curious. Curious which ones are catching the eyes. I'm going to guess it wasn't a. I don't want pink. I just want to keep this peach. I'm gonna guess it wasn't a uh, a watercolor piece. Probably one of the black and white ones, right? That's my guess. Oh, 
I don't know which one that is. I mean, all of them come in white, you know, because it's like... Like, I have yet to design something that was designed for black clothes that isn't, you know, that t-shirt I designed for pre-order. Because it's like... You know, I mean, technically, that's not even black. It starts off black, but then I fucking bleach the shit out of it. I'm actually wearing the shirt that I made just to make that mock-up image. You know, like, you know, I had to go out of my way to buy a black shirt and bleach it my own goddamn self. Because no picture on Google was anywhere near what I wanted. DIY forever, you know? Yeah. Anyway. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this shirt. I'm eventually just going to paint some shit on it, you know? It'll look real good. I mean, I feel you, you know. I like white shirts myself. I don't mind them. I don't mind if they get a little dirty. I, th I think two of them, two of my white shirts have a little blood on them. And I mean, they haven't even, like, they haven't even remained white. They kind of just got gray over the years. Like, they got, you know, other colors washed into them. I don't mind. I don't mind, you know. I'm not really trying to impress anyone with how I dress, you know what I mean? As a matter of fact, the only thing I'm trying to impress anybody with is my art. That's all. Because <laughs> that's all I got going for me, you know? I feel that's pretty much like, listen, if you're going to go out of your way to impress people, impress people with talent, what little of it you have anyway. <laughs> oh, true. Just, just wear a, just get a white bra. <laughs> it's as easy as that. No, I'm just fucking with you. Um, where, where are we? I guess we could touch this feather up. I don't know if I want to touch that feather up right this second, though. I don't know what color I want to make it, you know what I mean? I'm a th I'm a think on that. I'm a think on that. Campbell Wizard, hello, welcome. It's first time I see you around these parts. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and touch this water up over here. But before we do that, I am almost completely out of sea foam, whatever fucking color that is. So we gotta make more. I was about to be a little upset because I was looking in here for my white and I was like, where is it? I just ordered an entire new set of Reeves gouache just to get this fucking white. I'm shocked how much this Reeves has grown on me. At first I was like, this is okay, I guess. It's not great. And now it's more like, I actually really like it, because reasons. I think I started figuring out how to work it to my benefit. And I gave it the benefit of a doubt and it turned out good in my favor. Now we need to put like extra, you know, extra, like extra. You see that? Look at the amount of white. Because reasons, yes. It's always the good, goddamn best damn reason. All right. So we're going to introduce a little water here, and we're just going to push these into a corner and bully them for their goddamn fries. Give me your fucking money. Come on, motherfucker, come on. Give it to me, you little bitch ass. <laughs> just kidding, we're not doing that. 
This is a peaceful stream. We're peaceful people here. We're peaceful, non-fun having people. That's a little this is a little too blue for my taste right now. We need a we need to add a little extra green stink in here. Also there's a hair. You can see it every time I try to pick it up, it's like, I'ma bring all, all this other pigment with me, you know? Let's get a little more of this green in here. A little more of this green, yeah. I have been good. A few technical problems. Green is the best color, debatable. I mean, it's a good color. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. Is it the best, though? I don't know. I don't know. Like, wh how do how would we define the objectively best color? Give me that. Yeah, I got you, bitch. Where the fuck did I put my damn? I have a painter's towel around here. It's all the way back there. Come here. Come here, damn it. Oh, yeah. All right. I think that is good enough. It's got a little, little bit, of, little bit of that green stink, just a bit. I'll go ahead and try to squeeze the rest off. It's okay. The brush doesn't mind. This is, you know, this is a shitty beater brush. These brushes don't matter. So if you're like, oh no, don't, don't do that. It's fine. The color that's used the most all Skelligals painting combined would be the winner. That would be pink. Pink would be the most used color. It's literally in every goddamn painting I've made. Even if it's not like predominantly, it's been in every painting. Every single one. There's always a secret stanky pink. Always. But is it the best color? I don't know. You know, I like it. I really do. I fucking love how intense it looks. You know, it feels like you could melt just looking at it. I do use green a lot. I do use pink a lot. I use a lot of neons color. I don't know. I have to say, for me personally, my f being pink being my favorite, objectively speaking, red would to me would be the best color. It's intense. It grabs your attention. It has a sense of urgency to it. It's the color of blood and life. Or, alternatively, we could say black is the best color because you can wear anything with black. Or black with anything. You know, true neutral. Now we're getting into semantics, though. Never draw or paint on drugs. Why not? It's so angry. I like it because it's easy on the eyes. You know, it's a low, it's a low end of the spectrum. Whereas yellow or cyan are both really intense. You know, they get right at you. Where the fuck am I? Just kidding, I know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing this right here. Let me let me double check where all this moisture is. Roll for initiative. So let's get this going. Let's get it started in here. Yeah. 
It's funny watching someone try to do what? Paint or draw on drugs? Is, is, is that... Is that what we're talking about here? I'm not sure, I need context. I need context, damn it. I need contacts for my special eyes. My band. I actually don't need contacts yet. My my eyesight's pretty good, I think. It's pretty decent. All oh, this this music's getting a little intimate, you know, a little quiet. A little spooky. A little lonesome. Sounds like everything I can get along with. Or relate to, you know. Let's get this. Get this color coming down. As we come down, we'll introduce a little more blue. Here we go. And coming down even further, we'll start introducing just a little touch of... You find all the treasure in Diablo 3? Is that what you're doing right now, playing a Di Diablo 3? I remember in uh, high school, my senior year, had two advanced classes. Advanced design and advanced, what was it, ADA? I guess it was advanced technology or technological application, some bullshit like that. They weren't actually advanced, but they said they were. I guess they were like a little more in depth than computer lab and wood shop. Anyway, an advanced tech applications, me and the kid that I was sitting next to would just play Diablo 2. You know, someone uploaded it to the school server and gave everyone shortcuts. I played as a goddamn necromancer because, you know. That's how that's how fuck boys like me uh, operate. We 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 fuck with the dead. That's what we do. That's what we're about. I'm still about that shit. You kidding me? Read the name, damn it. What's my name? What's my name? Uh? <laughs> Holy ass, because I am a name. So here we go, we're gonna go a little bit of that mountain over there now. We're just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this pink and touch up that mountain just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little more than that. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Give it. Give skull the pink. Maybe a little bit of this pink will go in too. Just to have a variety. A variety pack of pink. This ain't secret pink. This ain't your pappy's pink, neither. Because this particular type of pink didn't come out until like a few years ago. Or maybe less than a few years ago. I forget how long this has been out. It's been out for a while though. Longer than a year. That is, that much is confirmed. By Skeletal. That's me. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. I suppose I could put like another little pinkish gem there. Is that what you did to ladies? Give Skelly the pink? Yeah, give, give Skull the pink. I tell that to all the ladies. Baby, oh baby. 
You know who I am? No. I'm Skelligool. V Turbo Lich. Uh, okay. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna walk over there. Hey, baby. Um, can you stop talking to me? Wanna give Skull the pink? I'm calling the police now. Fuck. <laughs> I've just painted myself as every kind of comedian that I generally don't find all that funny anymore. <laughs> Great. They're doing wonderful things here. Alright. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I can't guarantee that, you know, my accuracy is on point here, but I'm pretty sure this is the direction I wanted the light going. Pretty sure. So, I'll go ahead and get that down there. And then, and there. You see that? A little, little, little bit of that it's going a long way. Then again, I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it looks like you can see it over here. So I guess you can. I guess that's all that matters. Uh, let's, let's do this real careful. one I think I want to keep I think I want to keep these spikes white maybe not though because then there's this thing and I don't know if I want to make that gold or not maybe I won't maybe I'll keep it white the last time I did dialogue box it was gold So maybe I'll make the spikes like really light gray, you know? I'll compromise. there and do these little nooks and onto the tube of you into your tube <laughs> If you still find me remotely watchable, question yourself, do I need help? Yes, no? Yes. Very yes. I mean, that's, that's the answer I would be giving in, in your position, but I'm not, so I can't. I would suggest it, though. I would highly suggest it. That's my recommended answer you give. There's no wrong answers. But if you wanted the right answer, it would be yes. There we go. 
So I suppose this one back here is going to be real dark. touch up on the edge of that later. Alright, what we can do now, we can do the steps or we can do crystal balls in the towers. I think we're gonna do steps. That way it'll give me a reason to switch paintings. So we'll do the steps. We'll do the steps. I don't want to make them too unique or nothing. So we'll, we'll do them kind of like uh, Hmm. Hmm. Well, bang. So I don't want them to blend totally in, but I also don't want them to be like obnoxiously sticking out. Could do pink. Let's, let's try pink. Let's try pink. Let's try a little bit of pink. I can lift this off if I'm not liking it, right? So where's... I need this pink too. We need two out of three kinds of pink on this. Give Skull two out of three pink. We'll introduce a little bit of yellow. Peach, like the princess, give Skull the pink of the princess, whose name is Peach. The color, not, not, don't, don't, don't get dirty thoughts, please, I have a reputation to uphold. Yeah, this works. It's not garish. I mean, it is. It's absolutely garish. And it's in every right very garish. But I mean, it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. Unless you think it's sticking out like a sore thumb. And maybe I'll uh, be a little wrong about that one. But I don't think it's sticking out too much. So, there's that. It's not upsetting my composition. And it'll be just dark enough for when I go over it with some ghosts. Oh no, not the crystal ball. Some ghosts, some spookums. I don't need the fire flower. I'm Skelegool. What the fuck you think is? What you, what you think is this amateur hour? All I need to do is press start and walk him in straight into a goddamn pit. What's that? Princess is in another castle? Well, that's too bad. You're not getting past the first enemy in World War One One. We're just gonna keep walking straight, motherfucker. I'm in control, not you. Remember, as stated before, the ratio of player deaths to victories is greatly in favor of deaths as a whole, as, you know, humanity as a whole in every video game ever. It's greatly skewed to death. By that logic, villains win often. Especially if you never beat the game. In my case, I've never once beaten Super Mario World. The, the, you know, the, 
the one everyone knows is the classic. Not once. Not once, not never. There we go. I reckon I'll just go back over that a little later. We can do these towers up a little bit too. We'll make them gold. Wait, didn't I do that recently or was that just... Wait, let me check something. Let me see my history of things that I have done. Didn't I do that on... Nope, I did the opposite of what I'm about to do. So it's okay. Get rid of that. I'll make these some golden towers. Yeah, I haven't, uh... I've never beaten Mario 64. I've never owned a Nintendo 64, so I never got the chance to. Every time I did play it, it was at a friend's house. I don't even remember playing it, like, extensively. I remember playing it for, like, maybe 30 minutes at a time, and that was it. I do remember playing Mario Sunshine extensively, though. That's a good one. I like Mario Sunshine. I'm very, very fond of that one. Let's see, what other Mario games? Oh yeah, 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 I played Luigi's Mansion. I beat that one a few times. I suppose those are the only Mario games that I've actually beat. No, wait, Mario Land on the Game Boy. I've played and beaten that one. That's it. That's, that's the extent. Did you beat Ocarina of Time, though? I haven't. <laughs> That's another game I never had, because again, we never owned a 64. Not once, not never. I have played it. I have played both the 64 entries. I have also played both the GameCube entries, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. I really like Wind Waker a lot. Twilight Princess, I, I'm hesitant to like it because, you know, it's just, it has some really cool looks to it, but at times it's just too much. Too much story, too much not me killing a bunch of things, too much, you know, wide open planes with nothing to do in them. The fields felt, felt very desolate, very empty. It didn't really feel any more alive than a Wind Waker in terms of, you know, Exploring beyond dungeons. Wind Waker wasn't really that great either. You know, there was like... It was one of the shortest ones. It was it had very few dungeons. I feel like they were going to have a lot more. Actually, Twilight Princess apparently had some... Uh, dungeons that were... Ripped. Or that were going to be in Wind Waker but didn't make the cut for whatever reason if I'm remembering that correctly I think Snow Peak Ruin was one of those I'm not entirely sure it would have been interesting to see game levels like that inside Wind Waker you know I definitely would have enjoyed it a lot more if there was more things to do At least you didn't have to sail around. Yeah, but I mean, that they made it easy with warps. I think the sailing thing was a nice touch because it's like... 
it was a little refreshing. You finally weren't in endless grass. Instead, you were in endless water. That's, that's an improvement, right? Actually, the island aspect of it, I really enjoyed because every island felt, or some islands felt really unique and special. All right, I think I'm going to put this up. And I'm gonna bring this other one down. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's the other one. We started this on stream, like I mentioned before. I mentioned this earlier. We started this one live on Instagram. So today I put some effort into inking it. And now we're going to go ahead and you know it. Hold on, let me do a thing here. Let me do let me do something right here. I need yellow, please. Thanks. I just need a little bit of it. Oh no! Don't don't do that. Get get out of my way, pencil. I've had this pencil for years. It's an old pencil, but it works. There we go. But a goldie. An oldie but a foodie. Yes. This pencil goes on the Instagram and just posts about all the food you could possibly want to eat from around the world. That's all it does. That is the main function of this. Froygelin schlep. Mm-hmm. What's really on your mind? We need a little more yellow. I'm reluctantly going to try and add some of this luminous lemon. Very reluctant. I don't want to, because I know what'll happen. But I don't want this cream to be so goddamn dark either, you know? It's a good thing I have more of this yellow. Green better last me long ass goddamn time. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh shit, you know that you look like it looks like you could melt in this green. Like you straight up, you put your finger in there, it's just dissolved in acid. Skelligul emojis. If I'm not mistaken, that won't happen for a long ass time. You know, that's something that I think I need like a following of considerable proportion to make happen. So, that would be nice though, that'd be cool. Have some Skelligul exclusives. Live from Skullwoods. Watch as a mundane artist paint 
while you watch on your your computing device at home. I really should be starting from up there, but, you know, we're a rebel. Actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to lay a general coat of this. Look at the intensity of this green. It's so good, goddammit. I love it. It's good. It's good. It's nice. Maybe we'll come back to that green a little later. And now we need, we need this green to get just a smidge darker. I think I identified my problem. I'm using mid green, not fucking some lighter green like like the light green that I'm looking at right now. What is this leaf green? Should have been using this. But guess what I didn't. It's okay. Well, grab it now. Might as well. It's here now. Why not? Hmm. Let's go ahead and define this slime a little bit. Define the slime. That's what we're doing. I need to get some more damn yellow. Leaf Green, the Pokemon game. I stopped playing Pokemon after Ruby and Sapphire. That's that's when that's when Pokemon ended in this house. After that I was like, okay. It's literally just the same game. Like I've played this twice now. I played it on the Game Boy. I played it on the Game Boy Color. There's nothing innovative about this. The only thing that's innovative about Ruby and Sapphire is the thing where you get to challenge previously destroyed foes. And that's it. And I was like, that's not enough to keep me entertained, guys. I mean, it helps. You know, it's definitely helpful for leveling up. But it's not enough for young blood and Alden K. More. Need more. Honestly, while I do love the original 50, or 150, I should say, sorry, not sorry, while I do love those, I think some of my favorite came from the second generation. The second and third definitely had some, like, ones that I was like, this is the shit, this is the one I love the most. I remember, you know, 
been Ruby Sapphire that had Shroomish. You know, catch me with a fucking Shroomish, I'll wreck your life, goddammit. Fighting grass, you know, you know, it's game over when Skeletal Ghoul got him in his party. <laughs> no, but uh, there was that. It had Dust Skull, which I also really enjoyed, which turned into Dust Clops. Those were pretty neat, I think. The legendaries were pretty okay, I guess. Rayquaza was sweet, but beyond that, it's like Groudon and Kyogre, they're pretty cool too, I suppose. Not exactly my preferred types for legendaries, ground and water. They had, you know, Regi Ice, Regi Rock, Regi Steel. Those fuckers were in there. Those weren't my favorite. Fave was Clefairy. Oh shit. Clefairy was pretty sweet. My fave Gen 1 might have been Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee and Gengar. I remember those two fondly. I think I was really fond of ghost Pokemon because they were able to use that curse move, which was my ace in the hole. I love that move. You know? You could kill an entire goddamn party with that. Just keep bringing Gengar back and then sacrificing that HP just to kill over time. Even when he's fucking dead. Good shit, you know? I just like the idea of that move. It's literally the Pokemon equivalent of a death curse. How fucking sweet is that shit, you know? So hardcore. That's like heavy metal right there. From Gen 2, they had Houndoom, which I liked. I think, I think of all the games, if I were to revisit any of them, I would revisit Gen 2, the second generation. Which is what Gen 2 is. It's, it's the second one. I'm not sure if you got that, which is why I repeated myself. Just in case never know. I always wanted to be more of a Digimon kid because I had this book of Digimon cards. I still have the book too. It's on my bookshelf right now. I was like, these look so much cooler but I never could get into the games or the card game or even the manga or anime or any of that shit so I never became a Digimon kid it wasn't that I didn't like it I just never got around to letting myself like it beyond this book I think I just liked it for the artwork <laughs> like everything else at that point in my life you know? everything was just for the artwork Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork Digimon artwork. Legend of Zelda. It used to be artwork, but not anymore. Now it has to rely entirely on gameplay, otherwise I, I would probably not be at all interested. I feel like if it weren't for the fact that it was a Zelda game, Breath of the Wild might have had less hype for me. No, like if you took if you took Link out of the equation, you took Zelda, you took all that Hyrule shit out of the equation, I feel like I might not have been nearly as interested. 
probably look at it and be like, it's, it's a pretty cool game. Looks cool. It's not, you know, it's not exactly what I want. Which is still kind of my reaction, you know. It's pretty close. It's up there. It's definitely in the right direction. But it's not quite there. Yeah, I like... I just like having... Oh no. Exploration is really cool, I love it. You know? That's what the blue coins are there for, and... Sunshine. That's why they're fun to get. Sometimes, for some people, they're fun to get. Not for everyone. I think exploration games is, it's a good deal. But at the same time, it's like, I want a little more than that. And it does have more. You know, it's got the combat. It's got some interesting extras, so to speak. But when it gets down to it, there's just something that I want that it's just not giving me. I don't know what it is exactly. It might have everything to do with the art style. I want to feel like a mighty hero, goddammit. It's kind of hard to feel like a mighty hero when I was asleep for like a thousand years, or sorry, a hundred years, however long that battle's been going on in that game, you know? I want Frank Frazetta, that's what I want, god damn it. <laughs> I want the Frazettian Legend of Zelda. They need to earn, they never earn the right for that, but they always use it anyway. They need to earn the right to use that Conan music in their trailers. The art style of Borderlands was pretty cool, yeah. Proof that you don't need to go hyper-realistic. You can just, if you have a good game and a good art style, that's all you really need. Some developer, I get it, you know, sometimes it is necessary to go into hyper realistic graphics. I guess. Doesn't mean I'll like them. Unless they're like tasteful, you know. Because they do have their use. Example, if it weren't for hyper-realistic graphics, I wouldn't have graphics to hate on, besides anime. Anime-looking graphics. You know, that, that would be the only other one that I'd be like, this is garbage, I don't like it. The slime game has not even begun, what are you talking about? It has not even begun. Actually, it has begun clearly, but we're not we're not done yet. We're just going around. We're just. 
slapping on more green. A little yellow. still come here god damn it there's a particle here there we go there's a goddamn particle in my eye Let's see if we can get rid of this well, that did well enough I just realized something. I guess I'm gonna have to make his vision green. <laughs> I just remembered something just now. This dude was going to have a pink laser vision, which means on this side I should have had some red light, and I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Whoa. What happens when you're not paying attention, I suppose? Let's get a little bit of blue in here, though. Actually, it's not too late, now that I think about it. We can do a thing. We're going to do a thing here. So we're just going to go ahead and tell you what. We're going to try a thing here. It's not a stupid idea. I'm not the most confident at executing it, but we're gonna try a thing. We're gonna try a thing. I have an idea. So that way I can still make his vision pink, red, orange, whatever. So. I'm gonna start by grabbing this. Just bring it right on down. And wash away the rain. Overwash, brush, why don't you come down and wash away the green? Yeah. Grab this yellow, come down on the edge like that. Yeah, there we go. The thing to save us all. another. Look at that, the color's just practically coming right off. So far this idea is becoming a huge success. about watercolor you know you get to kind of just 
if you if you're quick enough you make a decision that you regret you can kind of just it's okay it's okay player you can just go back and rip it right off I go as a prize jewel necklace of a rich girl in a crowd full of robbers just rip that shit right off Never stood a chance. Eco cooler green on my paint towel. You can't actually see it, but if you could, you would know that there's a lot. By a lot, I mean it's not a huge amount or nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and spread the sound a little bit. over with a different color it'll be fine that spot go. I want to keep putting more green in that one little location. up originally. Not a single person will know. Listen, uh, Zay, you're not going to tell anyone about this, are you? No? Okay, good. We're good. We're good then. All right. Back at it, baby. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to grab this. Watch the archive video. What you talking about? Twitch don't archive videos. I'm not archiving this video. Deleting it as soon as it's done. No one can know. Not a soul. I'm not above threatening the girl if she knows my secrets. You kidding me? Oh man, you're gonna like this slime. You're gonna like the improvement I'm making to this slime, you know? The improvement will be... <clears throat> you have my word on that one. It absolutely, positively, without a doubt, indefinitely, ephemerally, exquisitely, 
bodaciously, radically, intelligently, efficiently, quickly, quietly, hardly, deliciously. Slowly, but without an un a lack of understanding of the need of haste, we will succeed in getting you fucking lost. A pizzeria, <laughs> zetheria. That's right, that's how you say that name. I don't care how or how you want to pronounce, damn it. Pronounce it my own goddamn way. Well, these are you and my house, these are my rules. Alright, we're gonna grab a little more. A little more blue. Well, that's too much. But you know what? We'll just spread it out real thin. Like the last bit of butter. Let's see if we can get like the last of this lemon. Might as well. We'll be using it for the rest of the night. Mixing it in with green and shit. I might as well. I might as well. So let's go ahead and bring it down here. Bring it to the chorus! I finally found a use for this relatively destroyed player's guide for Dragon Warrior. I have two copies of this. One is in good condition, the other is written all over. The one that is written all over I'm using as a barrier between not only my speaker, but a few zines and whatever the fuck else is back there, some paper objects. this yellow all the way up. I'm going to be ripping off Tony Papish once more. By ripping off, I mean it just so happens to actually make sense in this turn, so it's not really ripping off, it's kind of just logic, really. It makes sense to me. dry brush that in. Let me get some of this moisture off this brush. And just dry brush the rest. See that? Fades right in. Look at that! You would never have even known that I put the shading on the wrong side. Not, not even a smidgen of a clue. Not even a hint. You will never know. Because I will never tell you. Good job. More like 
get good. Oh, that was terrible. I mean, we're on Twitch. We might as well be getting with the lingo, right? Might as well get down with the times, you know what I mean? Alright. Now we can put the shading on the right side. Which actually is the right side of this painting, isn't it? Question! This is kind of a semantics. Alright. Is this the right side of the painting or the left? Because if this is the front, wouldn't that mean if it's facing the same, you know, and like, you know, my face where, where I'm looking down towards this is also my front, wouldn't that mean that in order for this to be the right side, it would have to be flipped over? It's food for thought. A real legitimate question. You don't have to answer directly or right away, but... Do think about it. Do think on it. I would like an answer in the form of an essay. At least five paragraphs in length. They don't have to be wordy paragraphs. But do put your best foot forward. Damn it. is about this song but it always manages to be louder than I anticipate it to be Let's see if we can get it at a perfect I never remember that either it just pops up I'm like god damn it it's just that much louder and it throws me off every time. Oof. Slime is looking good. We have some good looking goop. I don't drink soda, believe it or not. I'm just naturally gassy. You know, I'm decomposing, so I suppose there's some like natural gases being admitted into my decomposing lungs. I also get really, I don't know, there's, you know, something about water. It's weird, you know, one of my friends pointed out, I was like, you're the only person I know who burps after drinking water. It's so strange. And I'm like, yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? It's pretty weird. So that has something to do with it? I don't know. I'm not going to question it too much cuz you know I'm I'm busy questioning other things. So air swallower. Oh well. There you go. Answered question. How am I drinking it wrong? <laughs> How? How is there a wrong way to drink? I didn't know there was like rules on drinking water. I must have missed that class and I must have missed that lesson in PE or health class. He never taught us no nothing about that sort of shit.
Really? I feel that. Except I don't get the hiccups, I just be really quiet. I'll, I'll kind of, I don't know. I mean, I'll kind of start talking like this, I guess. And I'll feel like maybe, usually when it comes to Skype conversations, if there's even a slight hint that the other person isn't that interested, or isn't really giving you like much response, or giving me much response in this matter, I kind of just go, eh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. I suppose. Your friend Red Bearded Ogre just started watering. <gasps> Hello, Red Bearded Ogre. Or so Twitch chat says. Welcome to the power hour of goop, of some pretty green ass goop. Actually this needs to be more yellow over here. There's a reason we're doing yellow on one side, you know. Here on the PS4 and your phone. More Skeligul all the time. Or more red bearded ogre for that matter. So now you have it like an echo of ghoul, is that what you're saying? Two ghouls echoing back and forth, one mimicking the other. Double twitch! I got a spam! And the uh, spam for sushi. That video will always bring me joy. Double spam! Sando de Panda! <laughs> Need more. Need more shit like that. That was good. That was a good video. See, that's the memes I come here for. I don't come here for like... Not those memes. I mean, even when you're unaware of it, you like a lot of memes. Even it, when it's not like the macro images you see on the internet, you know, you're liking memes. You don't know it. Sometimes you don't recognize a thing as a meme, but a lot of things are generally meme, meme-esque. Or are the very definition Now when I say you are a meme, I don't mean you're a popular one. No one, no one, you know, you're, you're one of the, the ones that got posted on like a, like a Facebook group dedicated to memes, but there's only like 
three people there and they're all friends. And they will never revisit that meme ever again. Take whatever you can get your hands on. It's kind of like how I describe my diet. I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a omnivore, I'm a, an available-tarian. I'll eat whatever is available to me. That's how I roll. It's very brutal. I remember I was dating this girl a while ago. It was when I was still working at the record store and uh, she was going vegan. She started becoming vegetarian and then she went full on vegan. And we didn't have any problems, none. You know, she was okay with my habits. I was okay with hers. We didn't try to change each other's mind. But in her transition to becoming full-on vegan. I remember her dad and one of her friends, which was subsequently one of my friends as well. I think he was my friend before I met her, so. But anyway, they both came to me, her dad and, you know, this other guy, on two separate occasions and said, you got to convince her to get back to eating meat. You know, we're concerned for her health, whatever. And so one day, we're walking, we're going to get donuts. Uh, you know, vegan-friendly donuts. And I'm like, hey, your dad and Matt told me to convince you to into back, in the, back into eating meat. So here's me trying. You want to go back to eating meat or nah? And she's like, nah. I'm like, okay, that's fair. Can't say I didn't try. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, nothing. Ignore all of that. Just don't, don't. It's okay. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to change you or nothing. I'm just doing what I was told so that way I can be like, alright, I did it. Now leave me alone.